Now the next thing that we have to do is basically to design the user interface for the upload form screen. So for that purpose, uh, what we need to do, first of all, we will need some instances. For example, we need to initialize event add list and we will give it name as uh, image file you and at list or you can say you and at list now basically this instance or you can say this variable it will basically store the image file which the user will capture using phone camera or if the user pick it from the phone gallery so that image file we will assign to this and it will be in bytes form okay in bytes form so for now it will have initial value that is null then we need a boolean type variable which will be is uploading and it will have a default value false and on the basis of this we will check if the uploading starts or if it is not start so we will display a progress bar for that so anyways for example now in the in the scaffold widget after the app bar as you know we have to design the user interface for the upload form screen so we will design it in the body so we can say body list view as you know list view is a multi children widget so now on the basis of this is uploading we will check if the uploading starts or not so we will basically update our user interface according to that that is we will display if the uploading is start we will display the progress bar otherwise we will not display the progress bar so we say is uploading if it becomes equals to true then it simply means the uploading starts so in that case in that case if the uploading is starts then we will display the linear progress indicator for which the color will be colors dot let's go with purple ascent let me tell you again if the uploading is start then in that case we will display a linear progress indicator with purple ascent color otherwise else we will display nothing so an empty container make sure to put a comma and then we will after the progress bar indicator or let's say if the uploading is not started then in that case we will see nothing but empty container you can say that is nothing so after that we will have an image the image which the user capture with phone camera or pick it up from the phone gallery we have to display that image so we can say size box of height 230 width for that image so whatever the screen width is we can say media query dot of context dot size dot width whatever the screen width is we will take 80 percent of it so multiply it with 0 0.8 child center child image dot memory as i told you the image will be in bytes form and that image which will be in bytes form we will assign it to this variable in the upcoming videos so for now we will just say that image dot memory and simply we can say our image file which is inside this image file ui nt at list inside this variable make sure to add and i'll check with it now when we start displaying the image then here we have to basically first add a condition which will check if this is null if this image file is null or if it is not null if it is null then we will display a placeholder or you can say an, an icon instead of that 
otherwise we will just if it is not equals to null then we will display that actual image which is in bytes form of course we will convert it to bytes form so anyways now next thing that we have to do is before this image dot memory what we want to do is let's move it here and now here we can add a condition and that condition will be if the image file uinet list if that is not equals to null okay that is if it has an image not equals to null simply means that it has an image file in byte swarm so in that case we will display the image from the memory that is image dot memory that is that file we are displaying here otherwise else if image file is equals to null it simply means the else statement will execute so else in that case we are going to basically display something and that will be basically an icon and icon will be icons dot image let's add an icon this icon will be good image uh, not supported let's display this icon and the color for this will be colors dot gray so let me tell you again if the image file is not equals to null and simply means it simply means that if we have the image file if the user has picked up from the gallery or captured with phone camera successfully then in that case it will have an image file so it simply means that it is not equals to null in that case it will display the actual image otherwise if it is equals to null that is if there is no image or let's say if the image is broken or some error occur that is if it not contain the image file then in that case we will just display this icon okay we will display this icon i'm going to test the app on the phone so now as you know according to the current scenario if we go to the upload form you know that we will see this icon because the user has not yet picked any image okay that is this image file is null if image file is equals to null then in that case the else statement will execute that is it will display this icon and if you want of course you can increase the size of the icon to let's say 40 so now you can see that